Football coach Luke Johnson after the Vikings' unfortunate 11-5 loss to University of Chicago here on a Tuesday evening. Um, Luke, you know, it's um, unfortunate it was another loss for you guys tonight. What are some of your thoughts on this game, both positive and negative, you know, in, in this game overall? Uh, it was a, a, a microcosm of how things have been. Um, I'm not going to spiral into uh, victim mode here and get too deep, but we uh, we're our own worst enemy at times. And in, in ways that you haven't seen in the last five or six games. I mean, it's very difficult when you put zero in the far right column on the scoreboard. You don't make any errors that show up in a scorebook, uh, but, but you do three or four things on the back side of the foul lines, exchanges on on balls that are pass balls, wild pitch, those tweeners where you know they move up. That, that blew that game open right there where we two runs scored on, on one ball and went back to the screen. And that's, I mean, that's, those are tough to swallow. Um, but on the bright side, I, I watched Zach Worsley continue to go and get in center field um, every direction that you can. He, he threw two guys out tonight and got one in the book for it. Um, that was good to see. It's good to see a guy. It's not easy to play center field in our park where the, where the fence line is straight. And when you keep running back into the right center gap or the dead center, the, the, the fence keeps running away from you. He's done a very good job negotiating that this year. He's hit the ground. 15 or 16 times, hit the wall four or five times, and come down with the ball uh, every time but one. So he's, he's been really good defensively. Unfortunately, guys, too, left 10 runners on base because just couldn't get that big key hit, and you guys had the bases loaded a couple times. Talk a bit about uh, the offense there. Uh, you saw it. There were guys on base all day. And, uh, you know, you, again, you guys have to get hits in those spots. And, and they did it again tonight. I mean, the, the thing that was, I think, the, the biggest killer was, uh, I want to say, in the in the sixth or seventh, we're first and second to leave the uh, leave the inning off, and we we go pop out, three two strike out, pop out, to end the inning, and then uh, whatever momentum you you think you got rolling, you totally deflate yourself that way. But again, you uh, it's not that easy to go out there and get those hits, but you still got to expect guys to go out there and, and hit competitive walls in those spots, and, and we didn't get that tonight. Talk about Brett Kessinger's start. He uh, came out was a little solid. Had had two good solid innings, but then things kind of unraveled for him a little bit there and a little bit towards the end of his, uh, his start. Talk about how he pitched. Uh, he pitched like a freshman. Uh, that's got some talent, as did Josh behind him. Um, there are times when he looks really good, and he's going to be relied upon. You know, in, in coming years, he's got very good stuff, and um, he showed it early. He lost a little bit there. In the middle, was able to get a little bit of a back. Uh, getting him out of there had as much to do with what the guy that came in, Mario, came, came coming out of the bullpen, what he had done uh, lately, uh, which he did not do today, had as much to do with that. And it really wasn't, I mean, Brent wasn't, wasn't brutal out there by any stretch. We uh, would like to be able to use him over the weekend. And, and if you run him up there 60, 70, or 80 pitches and you play Friday, Saturday, you might not be able to do that. So um, he's got a bright future here, and, and he showed some of that. I thought Josh did too after. You know, uh, he had to clean up a little bit of a mess when he came in there. But, yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Yep.